Well, this weekend, if you follow the suggestions of our old pals Dick and Dave, it'll be filled with beer, wine, and a massive vegan potluck dinner, plus an anti-dating game that's anti-dating game, which sounds interesting, even though I am a married man. Happy anniversary, honey. Anyway, they are here in their usual splendor. That's Dick, formerly known as Richard Burroughs of the Brooklyn Reader. Hello, sir. <laughs> and Dave, David Cologne, who this week is being ID'd as Michael Strahan's live with Kelly replacement. Yes, it you heard it true. here first. It's you heard it here break, first. Breaking news on this uh, TV show, breaking entertainment news. Dave, we I think I got a lot ye. that I could bring to the show. If so. my dad was hiring, he'd hire you. He loves you guys. Don't I don't know why we're talking about this like it's not, you know. It's, <laughs> it's going to happen. It's, it's true. Happen. It's going to be live the contract with Kelly is signed. And Kelly this is Cologne. my last uh, well, Dick and Dave. The real Whoa. star. All right, a little later. Oh, the dude. real star. Oh, okay. A little Let's later, we'll see, see what kind of mischief Dick and Dave have been up to. Those rascals. <laughs> All right, but right now, we want to get to the best part of the show. Sorry, boys. But we are especially honored to welcome one of the co-founders of Fancy Nancy. You know it. It's the Bushwick Bar and Restaurant. She is Kristen Walker, and she has brought a whole lot of bottles in front of her. Kristen, it's really nice to meet you, and welcome. Oh, yeah. Thank nice you for you. being on yeah, BK Live. Yeah, my pleasure. Well, uh, let's talk about the cocktails. Let's talk about what goes on at Fancy Nancy. Oh. It's in bed by bed the way. Bed oh, bed I, I, just, I only know from the prompter. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fancy Nancy in bed -Stuy. what goes on there? And what sort of cocktails will you be making us today? Uh, well, Fancy Nancy first is a new neighborhood bar restaurant. Uh, we opened about eight months ago, celebrating our one year in August. All right. Haven't burned the place down yet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> today I am making two cocktails uh, that are currently on the menu, on our spring menu. We just did a little overhaul. Nice. Uh, the first one is going to be, as you mentioned earlier, Tippy Toes. Um, so this cocktail is sort of a variation on a classic cocktail called an aviation. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've had uh, one of those before. Yeah. Very tasty, very yeah. refreshing. It had like purple stuff. Is that the one with Lilith? The purple stuff. Ooh. Excellent. Uh, this is actually creme de violette. Yeah. Creme de violette. Yes, it's a liqueur made from violets. Nice. Um, so in this drink, we're gonna have creme de violette, a little mm. bit of singani, which okay. is uh, Bolivian brandy. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Perry's Tot, which is a navy strength gin. Perry's Tot is actually made. Um, I only drink navy strength. <laughs> oh my god. That's I'm a glad you're here. Navy said, strength. You could come on, but Greg Johnson only has navy strength gin. What have we been drinking all these years? <laughs> that's, all, that's all we need to know. We Army need to know. Strength it's a tippy toes. Tippy toes. From Coast Fancy Guard. Nancy, you're going to mix them up. Thank you so much for being here. Oh my gosh. My and I pleasure. guess while you mix them up, we'll get to. Yeah. Dick and Dave's picks for the weekend. Dick, you're up first. What's going on in Brooklyn? Well, you know, the Total Immersion series are always pretty fun. Uh, me and Dave actually covered the, uh, the, Crown, Heights the Crown Heights one, yeah. which is really cool. So um, you just transfer that over to Cobble Hill, and what you do this Saturday from 12 to 6 is you go, you purchase a ticket, and you get uh, a beer mm -hmm. uh, sponsored by Brooklyn Brew. Uh, Brooklyn beer, uh, but you get a free beer at a uh, list of places, and you also get a uh, discount situation at many of the uh, neighborhood establishments, some of them being uh, bars, some of them being restaurants, some of them being clothing places. Um, but it's a real chance to check out Cobble Hill. There's a lot of walking involved. Perhaps you should not wear your uh, red bottoms. Maybe you should, you know, put on your okay. LeBron James joints. I'll leave my heels at home. Leave your heels at home. Um, but go, uh, you know, if, if you just um, Google up uh, the total Cobble Hill immersion, you'll find all the information, and it's this Saturday. Happy there weekend. we go. Starts at noon. Dave, Starts at noon. great. So What's, let me ask you guys something. What is the greatest trick the devil ever pulled? By convincing the world he didn't exist. That is wrong, actually. Uh, it I was is going a by the movie. Kickflip right. backside uh, backflip tail slide. But <laughs> the second greatest trick <laughs> the devil ever hot. pulled right. was uh, convincing you that you would find love and that it's uh, you're worth it. So <laughs> get your uh, significant other, or just go by yourself and laugh at people, wow. and go to Let Me Break You Up. It's an anti-dating game show where uh, uh, your lovely host will be, it's like the dating game, but yeah. when you, whoever has the least amount of points has to break up. Really? And couples night. go and they have to, well, do you like sign this, a contract or anything? That's what, it, I haven't been to one, uh, but that is what it says, is that you have to break up. Mm. Uh, I mean, it could just be goofy comedian stuff. Is but this legally be, binding? It could be legally binding. I don't know. Right. I mean, Are I people going don't... to break up and like tank this game so it's the easiest way to break up? I don't know. I'm into I don't know. I'm, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. I, I hadn't yeah, I heard about it before, but it's going to be on Friday. Uh, you can go, you know, 
check it out. It's only five bucks to to go watch. Uh, I guess sometimes you can see couples in See, that's, that's wrong-headed, though. That's wrong-headed because <laughs> I break up with all of my significant others via WhatsApp. Um, so, massive vegan potluck picnic is this Sunday in Prospect Park. I know if you're a vegan, you probably don't have any friends. That's true. No, no, um, nobody wants to eat with you besides <laughs> other vegans. So, what you can do on Sunday is gather up all your vegan friends and maybe, you know, sort of... You know, have a burn, burny, burn sort of tear fest yeah. and say, oh my God, we have to eat all this food here and you bring it, you make something vegan. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know how to make any vegan food. I certainly do not. Brian does. Boiled do. eggs. <laughs> okay. Vegan food is easy. So you, it's, it's, it's a massive vegan potluck. It's yeah. at Prospect Park this Sunday from 1230 to 3.30. Um, I don't know exactly what dishes will be there, but yeah. no one's going to know because everyone's going to bring something. Um, so that's a way for you to, like, commune with your fellow vegans and have conversations, you know, have vegan talk. I don't know. Leave don't, the burgers at home. Yeah, don't come burger at home. Don't go and torment the vegans with all your BLTs. <laughs> 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 so, you never had anything oh, vegan chickpea salad. Chick I don't, I don't salad. believe it. I don't know how to make it. I'm, uh, that, I haven't thought about it. Maybe I, maybe I do. Yeah. Maybe I do. Open a can Easy. of beans. And, and some hummus. Keisha yeah. Cole talk. Uh, words and guitars. It's a two-day... DIY and Zine Festival. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this it starts on Friday and it goes into Saturday. It's at uh, Bushwick Public House, mm -hmm. which is conveniently located in Bushwick. It's not confusing like that, right. um, and it's great. So the first day uh, is going to be uh, there's like a concert, and that's that'll run you ten bucks. Bunch of bands. Uh, it should be fun. All of the uh, proceeds go to uh, the Willa May Girls Rock Camp. Oh, that's an awesome um, which is, Yeah, exactly. They do a lot of good work. Yep. Uh, so that's the first day. Saturday, uh, you can go in the afternoon starting at 2 o'clock. There's a giant zine uh, festival. I never miss a good zine fest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you can buy uh, a whole bunch of different zines. You can browse and see what they got. Uh, there'll also be like a panel of women talking about what their place in the punk rock community is. Um, because kind of like mm -hmm. the Satanist community, last time I was here I was talking about that. Like there's still some ingrained, uh, you know, you just uh, misogyny. Satanist? No, the Satanist thing that like women talked about their place in Satanism. Okay. So they'll talk All about right. like their place in punk rock. And then there's another show after that. So and you can go time. and fan out on Brian because he never missed a good zine fest either. Uh, zine I'll be there. Boy, I will actually boy. be there. Next event. Right, okay, so you know what, you might want to do, if you're getting married this summer, perhaps you might want to do a destination wedding and go to Napa Valley, um, you know, and do some wine tasting. Yes. Um, but if you are literally out of work and perhaps you don't have the, the money to do that, you can actually have a, uh, a destination wedding on the top of the Brooklyn Navy Yard because they have their yeah. own rooftop wine. vineyard. Vin Isn't that amazing? Does it taste like the uh, guanas? One question, though, this is rhetorical. Mm. Who wants wine? When you can have a tippy toes. Let's get those drink on oh! from Nancy Nancy, huh? Well, that's this Sunday from 3 to 4 p.m. So you go up there, they tell you all about how they actually make wine in Brooklyn mm -hmm. at the top of the at the top of the um of the uh, Navy the, Yard. Uh, roof up there. Of the roof up there. And um, I think that should be pretty amazing. Gracias. Yes, for sure. See you at the Navy Yard. Kristen, yes. it smells like licorice. <laughs> We're gonna drink. Uh, here's exactly. to Fancy Nancy and Bed Stuy. Cheers, guys, and here's to, to Kristen and, to and the Fancy weekend. Nancy. Kristen, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, my pleasure. I'm excited yes. to taste this. Yes, yes, me too. Oh yeah, that's that's fantastic. It's phenomenal. Wow. It's very oh, flavorful. Yeah. She's strong. The gin smooth. is good. The gin is tops. The, it's it's not Coast Guard strength gin. <laughs> It's I Navy feel just strength. Just like too. I'm in the Navy now. Right. Na yeah, we're all in the Navy now. <laughs> right. I Thank you tap. so much. I need a tap right this is now. Seriously, delicious. What's the Wikipedia on Navy strength gin? Why is that a thing? So, um, dating back to like the late 1800s, mm -hmm. um, when the Royal Navy would be shipping gin yeah. along with gunpowder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the gin had to be overproof. In case overproof, meaning over 57 percent. Right. In case the gin were to spill on Into the gunpowder, the gunpowder gun still had to ignite. Oh my gosh! Oh. So, how did you know that? Oh. <laughs> I now I do. That's, you are I'm so gonna, wicky. You know, some of the things I like about you is long. your wickiness. <laughs> Come on, what's the next drink you're cooking up? Okay, us. next drink is called Fur in the Desert. It is essentially a cactus. I was told it was fur in the dessert. In the dessert? But it's in the desert. I made sure one S because I learned right. more S's the more you want the dessert. You know, right, that's right, how right. I learned to spell it. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Uh, okay, so. Mississippi, though. What's that? 
I never learned how to spell Mississippi, so <laughs> that S thing. M I S S I S S I P P I. It's like a. She's so good, and she makes drinks. Right. A catch. She's the best. So this is like a yeah, it's like a cactus margarita. Wow. Uh, what I just put in was Margarita. nopale, fresh nopale puree. Oh Nopales are cactus paddles. Uh, yeah. They're delicious We're tacos be as well. They're very, yeah, exactly. They're very herbaceous. Yeah. Uh, slightly bitter. Herbaceous. Um, but very good for you. Yeah. Very high in nutrition. Great. It makes so a great a, vegan uh, taco in the desert. Nopales. So Cleanse. Like, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So since you're making five, I'm would that be that like the vegan potluck? Yes. Is that cacti? A cacti. A cacti, the margaritas. Cacti margaritas. We're gonna be <laughs> tripping. We're gonna be tripping. Okay, let's go to the next Who event. Tripping anyway. Who's Donald Trump here with us. So the next event. No, that's stupid. <laughs> what? I'm tripping. <laughs> What's the roast that is of your extremely weird self? Well, so you know, maybe I was extremely cool as a teen. Uh, definitely nothing. Uh, no pictures just to show that I wasn't extremely cool. But uh, <laughs> but they're all at my house. You'd have to go there, so and you'll never you'll never find it. That's right. what's uh, next. The, <laughs> Uh, so, but other people, maybe you weren't very cool as a teenager, and maybe, you know, like live journal or, uh, you know, your actual journal or pictures or whatever mm -hmm. else exists of you. So, uh, these comedians who are going to be there, all that evidence does exist, so they're going to go to the Annoyance Theater in Williamsburg on Saturday night, and they're going to, like, put it on a screen, and they're just going to be like, oh my god! Look at this idiot. What a terrible, I mean, I'm not a very good, I'm not good at roasts, but you know, comedians presumably are. Uh, and they will just roast the ever-living crap out of themselves as teens. Like, they will inspire a whole previous time travel -y kind of wave of teen suicides right. uh, oh. of themselves. Oh. Um, good times. You know, <laughs> a weird, weird time travel paradox maybe will happen. I'll be there. I like my comedy hateful. Roast must be cool. <laughs> I, I wish there was a comedian around. I could ask, like, how they roast people. That's me. Like, <laughs> oh, Johnson. my God. Check out the Brick TV YouTube channel for Stand Up Brooklyn with Greg Johnson, <laughs> if you haven't seen it already yet today. Never heard Dick, of Dick, what's next? My lead is uh, $10 now. Um, <laughs> so the City Fox experience, like, City Fox is, like, this, it's going to be, like, this amazing, like, that, as a picture, is like a Where's Waldo? You know, if Waldo had on like a super deep V-neck T-shirt, mm -hmm. and you know, exactly, exactly. But right. But this is a super duper Saturday outdoor party experience, like high end, like super like Euro electronic music with like. I don't know, five, six thousand people. It's like nooks and crannies and bend, like school like situations, and <laughs> it's like it's like a super outdoor Brooklyn experience. Without the palm trees, though. Um, no, they have palm trees there. They really? have built-in palm trees. Get out! It's like this whole kind of ecosystem. I re I didn't know this was in Brooklyn. I thought there'd yes. be more colored people. Than, yes. I well, I see. I see colored people. I see one chocolate chip. That is the I see colored people. I see a few. <laughs> That's I mean, fine. but they're probably working. Um, oh. So, <laughs> oh. I, thought, I thought I made the, the most in poor taste joke of the. But we own that. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Oh. right, right, right. The dishwashing right. duel. Uh, this is extremely weird. I even weird. even for a thing that I pick to recommend uh, to people. But you know, I don't know. I wash dishes uh, at all the time at my apartment. We don't have a dishwasher. I'm kind of at the point where like I don't want a dishwasher ever again. I have like Stockholm syndrome really? of dishwashing. You got uh, the That's the I guess well. But anyway, uh, at the Diamond, great bar, uh, always fun place. They're gonna have first. There's a five dollar brunch, which you can never what? beat. That what? just five dollars for food. Do I trust them? Uh, I think like it's a uh, Mexican Southwest uh, kind of stuff. Yeah. After that. Uh, mm -hmm. People from Motorino and people from mm -hmm. uh, Legamin are going to I like both fight of over who can wash, wash the dishes, dishes the best. This is a thing where apparently uh, Brick yeah. will be there. I have we'll it on good authority. It. We're sending more cameras than there have ever been at any single event. I mean, wow. this, this is clearly this is the dishwashing duel live. This you is can the, see it on the Brick Super TV. Bowl of the wrestling of the. Uh, 
Not, it won't be live on Brick TV. It'll be taped. Well, like, you and can it'll, go it'll live. It'll be covered by Brick TV. It's Super Bowl Brick TV of the has everything. World. Stand up Brooklyn with the Greg Johnson. Super Dawson, Bowl of the restaurant duel. world. Yeah, right. so they'll be fighting, I guess, over who can wash dishes the best. And that's a thing that people do. And maybe there'll be like <laughs> actual fights because it will, you know, devolve okay. into chaos. Right. One more because we're running out of time. Mm. Say it fast. Mm. This is the build up. Mm. I love okay, mantras, mantras, drink? mantras. Like that's mantras. Like Afro Mantras Workshop Series. It's like the guy Zep Mama, who if Zep love Mama her. can do anything for you personally, she was in the studio. If she can do anything for you personally, and um, Amayo, the lead singer of Antibalas, yeah, they are teaching you how to get your mantra, how you can focus your energy in the Afro Mantra tradition. When and where is it? Um, that is this Saturday. Um, at Makata. Okay, real quick, we have to go back to Kristen from Fancy Kristen, Nancy. what are we having? What are we having, and where can people find Fancy Nancy? Okay, this is for in the desert, a.k.a. Cactus Margarita. Look at that logo, that's that nice. looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. We are at 1038 Bedford Avenue. Thank you so much. Corner of Bedford and Lafayette. Mm-hmm, excellent. Sure enough, sure enough. There we go, everybody. Cheers. To Fancy Nancy. Yeah. Can we also dedicate this one to our news director, Mr. Gama Ramos, who's oh, in the birthday. control room right now. <gasps> happy birthday. He's finally oh, 21. No. He's finally oh. 21, and I think that he should come out of there, take off those yes. heavy birthday, Gama. set, get and one. have a drink shot, with shot, him. Shot, shot, come shot, get one. Come shot, on, Gama. Shot, Gama, shot, get shot, out here. Get out here. This is delicious again. This is a very unique tasting drink. Thank you. Wow. Oh my God! Unbelievable! Ooh, we got Gama on, on screen. Gama! Oh, he's on his phone. Who are you texting? Why are you texting? Uh, one minute. One minute. He's still keeping the timing. <laughs> a consummate I'm professional. Right, 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 right. Get this. The man. fur in the desert is now the Gama for oh, right. his yeah, birthday. Yeah, She's Happy good, birthday, right? Gama. That is healthy. Happy birthday. That's healthy. Happy birthday. That's healthy. He's our new director, and it's his birthday. I feel better already. I know. My barrels feel good. How much time do we have? We have 45 seconds. 45 seconds. Happy birthday, Gama. Happy birthday to Cece's dad. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Greg's mom. Happy. It's all too much. Dick, 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 Dick. No, but she will be watching Stand Up Brooklyn with Greg Johnson on Brick TV YouTube. We so want to thank Dick and Dave. They're always great on the show. We really want to thank Kristen from Fancy Nancy. Thank, thank you. you. We'll all be in Bed-Stuy this weekend rock. and all summer long. Those cocktails Kristen. rock.